child was hospitalized and is currently in stable condition. That incident raising a lot of concerns once again about gun safety. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddock joining us live tonight in Sacramento after speaking with experts about what to watch out for to avoid like something like this uh, happening in your home. Ro. Well, Nikki and Eric, firearms experts will tell you the quick answer to keeping your kids safe. That is keeping those guns way up high out of their reach and also locking them up. Despite suffering serious injuries, a three-year-old boy survived after Sacramento police say he shot himself Saturday afternoon. Investigators arrested the boy's 31-year-old father for child endangerment. Police say they're still investigating exactly how the boy had access to the firearm and shoot it. The gun was loaded like a semi-automatic and the hammer was already cocked. It's very easy to set that gun off. If it's a double action, you know, pistol, it's very hard to set it off because you really got to pull on the trigger. But if the gun's already cocked, that's another story. Ron Make, a manager of Susan's Armory in Rockland, says educating your kids about gun safety is essential if you have a firearm in the house. As, as kids get older, you really need to teach them about gun safety. Make sure they understand once that bullet leaves, there's no taking it back. It's gone. And you have to suffer the consequences that go with it. Makem says gun owners can purchase a safe to lock up their weapon. Reach in, grab your firearm. I wrap it safe. It's got a fingerprint or RFID. Uh, if you're going to keep a loaded gun in the house, you store it in a place where if you need to get to it, you can get to it, but nobody else can get to it. Every gun sold in California, whether it's new or used, you have to get a lock. The lock comes with it. For a legal gun, you're going to have a lock. You already got it. Use it. It'll save lives. And police said again, this could have ended. This could have ended very dangerously, very tragically. This the young boy is very lucky to be here. Police said that he is definitely on the mend. Reporting live from police headquarters tonight, covering local news that matters. Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.